Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do, and today we got the tractor on the trailer back there, and we are on our way to a job. We're going to an orchard, lots of different projects to do, so this could be a, a lot different video than what we normally do. Stick around. All right, guys, as I was telling you earlier, coming out to an orchard today, this place is gorgeous, just beautiful. Got the tractor over there, and it is the perfect tool for the job I'm doing. I've been at this job for probably a good couple hours already, and I've just, I've been having so much fun, I haven't even started the video yet. Now we're starting the video. Let me tell you what I've been up to. Down here is landscape fabric, okay? I've been pulling old landscape fabric it's heavy it's wet it's full of roots it's full of dirt it's just it's just a, it's a mess guys it really is it's not really fun to be yanking on okay but uh, it's hard to cut when you need to cut it but let me tell you the backhoe is the perfect tool to pull it out of the ground get a grip on it and then we just and then i'm just going forward and pulling and it's working let me show you some of the trees around here they're just gorgeous look at this Look at this thing. I think this is an apricot tree and the bees are loving it. They're all over all the little bees and the big bees, the honey bees, the, the bumblebees. They're everywhere. All of this area over here is uh, is going to get landscape fabric on it pretty soon. The property owner, well, she doesn't want to be on camera, so we're going to respect that. Um, but uh, she said that I could film out here. So that's what we're going to do. There was landscape fabric all along this. So that's where that's where this came from okay so I I leveled that out it looks really nice and we're just continuing to uh, level out some different areas um, I'm gonna show you the pile of landscape fabric that I've accumulated so far here are the piles of landscape fabric that I've just been digging up and trying to roll up with the forks and uh, haul them off over here and set them down and get them out of the way. We're gonna get into the tractor. We're gonna go down and I'm gonna show you how I'm pulling landscape fabric. This is a perfect tool for the job. As you can see, the roads are pretty narrow, right? So a larger tractor wouldn't work. The backhoe is coming in really handy to pull the uh, the landscape fabric up, get a bite on it and, um, and move. And the forks are also helping in that process as far as lifting the lifting the rolled up landscape fabric and hauling it away. This is a fun job. <laughs> All right, you guys, enjoy the show. Stick around, we're gonna have some fun on the tractor. Here we go.
As you've probably guessed, this landscape fabric has been down for quite some time. Uh, the, the grass, the roots, the, the organic material that gets on top of it uh, just kind of composts and, and turns into grass. Uh, it's hard to tell where landscape fabric starts and where it ends. Right here where I'm pointing, that's all landscape fabric. If you look closely, as you can see this, and I've kind of torn up already, but just follow it. It just, it's everywhere. So, um, yeah, we're getting rid of it so she can plant peaches or pears, maybe pears. I think it's pears. Could be peaches. We're going to have to ask and find out. Well, I've been at this for a little while here. Obviously, I'm not recording everything that I'm doing. I made it a few rows. I think I got two or three more rows of landscape fabric to pull up. Yet. Uh, what, the, what the owner wanted me to do is come down here with my, my bucket, kind of work this up, work these weeds up a little bit, turn them over. Yes, I know my tiller would be the perfect solution to that, but I do not have my tiller today. And then there's a the factor. There might be some landscape fabric that I missed that would get bound up. And I don't want to mess with that because I've had to take barbed wire out of a, a brush hog before, and that's not fun. And I can just imagine what landscape fabric would be like bound up inside of a tiller. Ooh, that wouldn't be good. You guys ever do that? All right, so we're going to go drop this off. I'm going to put the bucket on. We're going to come back here and we're going to, we're going to play in the dirt. All right, now we've got the loader bucket back on the tractor. We've got the AI2 tooth bar. This makes digging in dirt work really well. If you don't have a tooth bar, you should get one. Check out bxattachments.com, AI2 products. That's a good one. Reversible, right? Tooth bar on the front. You spin it around. Flat edge underneath. But look at that. It's a beautiful thing. All right, I'm going to set you guys up. You can watch me play in the dirt. Really debated if forks or my grapple was going to be the better tool for this job and I went with forks and I'm glad I did because they, they stick out a little farther. I got the 42 inch fork so I'm able to get underneath that landscape fabric. I don't need to get as much leverage on it as I probably could with the with the grapple uh, with the grapple rakes but um, working pretty good with the forks so well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This one's been kind of fun uh, somewhere else, working for somebody else at an orchard. Um, apricots and, uh, hey, there's the ice cream guy. <laughs> apricots, peaches, and pears, and cherries. And, by the way, she's planting, I did find out, planting 
pear trees down where we were working. Uh, I figured that out, pear trees. All right, make sure that you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet. The channel is growing, everybody. If you wanna be a part of it, don't miss out. Um, until next time, everybody, keep on tractoring and God bless.